heard plenty of stories with Dwayne The Rock Johnson linked to the DC Comics character Black Adam. It seems like the actor was keeping himself for a debut in a superhero film only with this character. Without any further ado, here's everything we know about the very anticipated film. You'll be surprised by the strong connection The Rock has with his favorite comic book character. Black Adam's release date. Kondok needed a hero. Instead, they got me. Black Adam's cast and crew started filming at the very beginning of 2021, so Warner Brothers will certainly list the DCEU movie for a 2022 release date. Black Adam is going to be released by Warner Brothers Pictures in the United States on July 29th, 2022. We need to mention that the film was originally set for release on December 22nd, 2021, but was moved from that date because of, well, you know, the ongoing pandemic. Thankfully, the production got over it, so in one year, we'll enjoy Johnson's performance as Black Adam. Now, let's get deeper into the plot and everything else we should expect from the awaited film. Who is Black Adam? The Rock has been really dedicated to this character as he has been working on a Black Adam movie with his production company Seven Bucks and producer Hiram Garcia for nearly a decade. Back in 2014, he talked about how excited he was that he was working on such a film. According to the actor, one of the things he always loved and admired about Black Adam was that he was the anti-hero. For those of you not familiar, Black Adam was born a laborer and then received his powers to become a hero or, as Johnson says, anti-hero. A lot of people have been comparing the character to Shazam since both of them got their powers in a very similar way. Black Adam was a laborer in Kondak 5,000 years ago, and fans of the comics know him as Teth Adam. When he received the powers of the gods, he was referred to as Mighty Adam, according to Insider. Then, he went on a mission to free his people and lead Kondak. He did this by using his own way. However, he was later imprisoned by the gods. As Johnson stated, he felt the burdens and the pressures of a larger entity holding him down until he couldn't take it anymore. In fact, the actor is really fascinated by how Adam's whole backstory as a laborer influences his further choices. Quote, he is a ruthless keeper of justice, Johnson continued. The Rock calls the hero the judge, the jury, and the executioner. He believes in an eye for an eye, and he will always do everything he can to protect his people, and more so, protect his family. And this is one of the reasons Johnson feels such a connection to the antihero. Johnson said his character had to make some decisions in order to protect Kondak. Now, let's get into it. The Strong Connection of Dwayne Johnson to Black Adam uh, Black Adam has been with me for over 10 years now, and um, that gives you an idea of how passionate I am about this project. Back in 2019, The Rock shared a note on Instagram where he expressed his feelings for this special DC Comics character. In the message, he explained how, while growing up, he, just like every other kid on the planet, dreamed of becoming a superhero. He mentions how he dreamed of having cool superpowers and always protecting people. Then, he states that everything changed when he turned 10 and when he was introduced to Superman, his favorite superhero. And as years passed by, he realized that he could never be Superman because he felt he was too rebellious, too rambunctious. He further says that he simply liked to do things on his own, and now that he's been cast to play Black Adam, the actor feels like his dreams have come true. According to the actor, he is blessed to play such a character. And as he explains, quote, Black Adam is blessed by magic with the powers equal to Superman, but the difference is he doesn't toe the mark or walk the line. With this much enthusiasm and interest, imagine how good his performance will be. <laughs> we can't wait, can you? Black Adam Plot As the Black Adam teaser trailer shows, Black Adam has spent a lot of time waiting for the moment that will change everything. As you hear the voiceover narration, Black Adam calls his homeland Kondak. 5,000 years ago, Kondak was a melting pot of cultures, wealth, power, and magic. As a melting pot of cultures, wealth, power, and magic. And then he says that his help is needed as the community was before in need of a hero. Later in the trailer, we find out that the antihero was banished because he didn't fulfill the expectations, but he returned 5,000 years later as a free man and a hero. An important piece of information is that the film will put a major focus on Black Adam becoming a hero and his battles with the Justice Society of America, 
which is, as you already know, a superhero team consisting of Atom Smasher, Hawkman, Dr. Fate, and Cyclone. Black Adam Cast We've already established Johnson will star as the title character in Black Adam. Johnson's career is filled with many amazing films, but the role of Black Adam will be his debut role as a superhero. In recent years, he has worked in Moana, Central Intelligence, Jumanji, and Fast and Furious. Now, let's see who else will appear in the film. Noah Centineo is confirmed to play Al Rothstein, aka Adam Smasher, a member of the Justice Society of America. It'll be very interesting to see Centineo in such a project because he's mostly known for portraying Peter Kavinsky in the To All the Boys movie franchise. Aldous Hodge will also appear in the film as Carter Hall, aka Hawkman. The DC characters Dr. Fate and Maxine Henkel, aka Cyclone, had been confirmed for Black Adam, but Hawkgirl will not perform in the film. The Justice Society while we wait to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson dressed up in a black and yellow suit as a godlike super being, we need to talk about the Justice Society of America. The Justice Society of America will, as we previously said, enter the DC Extended Universe in Black Adam. Knowing this information, fans have been coming up with different theories about how the Justice Society could enter the film. While it's already been confirmed that important members of the Justice Society of America will appear in the Black Adam film, the way they're going to meet the anti-hero is still unknown. With plenty of comparisons to Shazam or Billy Batson, Black Adam's story stands on wickedness and rebirth, and because of this, he has been connected to plenty of characters in the DCEU, mostly to those of Justice Society of America. Back in 2020, Johnson revealed the JSA characters Hawkman, Doctor Fate, and Cyclone would appear in the upcoming film. Adam Smasher will be, as we previously said, played by Noah Centineo, Aldous Hodge as Hawkman, Quintessa Swindle as Cyclone, and Pierce Brosnan will play Dr. Fate. Sarah Shahi will portray Adriana Tomas, and she's described as a resistance fighter in Kandak. When you compare the JSA to DC's Justice League, you can find a lot of similarities. First, it's been named the League of Nations to the Justice League's UN, and we also need to mention that the JSA is, in fact, older than the Justice League by nearly 20 years in the comics. Characters that have been included in the JSA are The Flash, Green Lantern, Sandman, Black Canary, and Wonder Woman. Based on this, the possibilities for a Black Adam JSA franchise are so interesting and attractive that it is guaranteed to happen. Don't forget to share your own theory about this in the comment section below. Important Pieces of Information Black Adam has started filming in Atlanta, Georgia, and it is being directed by Jaume Colette Serra. The great director is mostly known for films such as Orphan and House of Wax. Lawrence Scher, who worked with 2019's Joker and was nominated for it, will be the cinematographer. This script was written by Adam Sidzikiel, Rory Haynes, and Sohrab Noshirvani. Dwayne Johnson is also one of the producers and has had a lot of influence on the film so far. Let us know what you'd like to see happen in Black Adam. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.